Hey everyone, Danielle here, and I want to do some yoga with you that's going in line with that stress reducer and immunity booster style of sequence and poses. And then we're also going to integrate some household props. So everything I'm going to do today is not going to be done with a yoga prop, but instead with household items such as toilet paper rolls. I have a belt and then I have a little stack of three beach towels. Um, or uh, bathroom towels. So that's what I'm using. And as I walk you through the sequence, I'm gonna show you how to use it. We're gonna just do a couple of poses. We won't take very much time here. But to start, we're gonna use three toilet paper rolls. Two are gonna be stacked on top of each other. That's about the height of a regular block on a tall setting, as you can see. And then we need one more, which is kind of a little bit shorter than the height if you were to put the block on its side. But what we're going to do is a little supported back bend over these props. I'm going to have this lower paper, toilet paper roll underneath my shoulder blades, which is right near the armpit. If you were to draw a line from the bottom of your armpit around the back side of your body, that's about where the shoulder blades rest. So we're going to have the short one where the shoulder blades are, and then your head's going to come to the tall toilet paper rolls. I'm going to start with my knees bent, feet flat on the floor, and I'll walk my hands back. And I'm just going to test this out and feel, okay, where is it hitting on my back? And really, can I start to lift and curl my chest over that toilet paper roll? And then my head, back of my head comes to the tall stack here. I'll straighten my legs, take a few breaths, I could probably move up a little bit. So here we are in a little supported back bend on some toilet paper rolls, straightening the legs. I'm going to take my arms up and overhead. I want to keep my inner arm wrapping down to the floor, outer arm wrapping up towards the ceiling to really support that armpit joint and shoulder joint. And I'll bring my hands back. And release the fingers together, press the palms away, and take the arms up and overhead. While I do this, I'm pressing my heels into the floor, the entire back of my thighs down into the floor. I'm really trying to soften my neck, and you can see that my chin is coming quite close to my chest here. If it feels uncomfortable or like there's any pressure in the back of the head, you can always drop your toilet paper roll down and even have that rolled side underneath you. I brought my hands back up and overhead. I'm gonna switch the lacing of the fingers and do the other side of that same pose we were practicing, Urdhva Baddha Angulyasana, upward bound finger pose. Taking a few breaths here. Really trying to lift and curl the chest over that toilet paper roll as I press my thighs down into the floor. And then bringing my hands back up. Bending my knees, can come to elbows, and then press up to sit. So that's what we're using for the back bend. I'm gonna scoot the toilet paper rolls out of the way, and now we're gonna practice some seated postures. I'm gonna grab my paper towel stacks. What I've done is I've folded them in half a uh, hamburger fold, you could say. And then once I've folded it in half, hamburger fold, then I'm gonna fold it in half lengthwise. That would be like hot dog style. And from here, I'm gonna try fold it. So I folded it over a third and then another third. So it's kind of like rolling a little bit of a burrito. Can you tell I'm kind of hungry? <laughs> so then I'm gonna start seated and I wanna sit high enough so that I feel comfortable sitting upright. Um, what you'll notice in your seated posture is that the knees fall more in line with the hips. So your whole thigh bone and your thigh will actually be more parallel to the floor versus if I was sitting on the floor, I might find that my knees are lifted a little bit higher than the hips. So that can be a good gauge to figure out how much support to actually sit on. Now we're gonna take our legs wide. And this is where you can have your strap or you can have your toilet paper rolls nearby to mimic blocks. We're gonna start twisting off to the side. So I have my toilet paper rolls. I'm pressing the hands down as I lift my chest up. Now, while I start to face this straight leg here, I'm thinking about my opposite leg. I really wanna press that heel down and extend that foot away from me. I do have my feet slightly flexed so that they can stay active. I'm also pressing my heels into the floor so much 
that there's actually a little bit of a bend and a lift of my knee off of the floor just to keep that uh, keep that effort from resting in the joint. Now this is what it would be like with a strap as I'm pulling on my foot, lifting the chest up. Notice if your hip starts to lift away from the floor and come with you, or if you can sink that hip back down and really turn the rib cage. Deep exhale, turn the rib cage towards the foot and then let the head hang. And then we'll come back up. You can decide which prop you want, whether it's a strap or the blocks. The blocks are better if you're feeling a little bit, um, if, if you're feeling like you need some more support However, with that, the strap causes you to be a little bit more active. So if you're feeling lethargic and tired, sometimes it's actually better to put that little extra effort in with the strap. You take a few breaths here, turn the rib cage towards that straight leg. Think about pressing into the heels, lifting the knees off the floor slightly, and then lift the elbows and bend forward. You can decide how close you want to hold to your foot. And then coming back up to sit. Now we're going to go down the center here. So you can take your blocks with you. Walk the hands forward as far as you feel comfortable today. Still lifting the knees off the floor slightly. Taking a few breaths here and let the head hang forward. My inner arms are turning up as the outer arms turn down. Still thinking about keeping that chest lifting and imagining as if I had that toilet paper roll in my upper back. So I could create that concave back shape with my spine lifting and curling over the edge of that toilet paper roll. That same experience that we just had, we wanna integrate here. And then we'll pull the toilet paper rolls back in, sit up nice and tall. Now this is where some movement comes in hand. I'd recommend using a strap for this series of poses. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start turning forward. I'm gonna reach my hand towards that straight leg and then I'm sweeping, kind of like I'm creating a rainbow here in front of me and then I'm latching my elbow to that thigh. Now you can also just bring the forearm to the top of the thigh, above the knee specifically, and come to this place here and then we'll reach the arm up and overhead. If you're at a place in your practice of touching the floor and sweeping over, you can grab your foot or have your fancy belt nearby, and it acts like a little extender of your arm here. And so then we can reach up and overhead. And then we'll come up. We're gonna do the other side, so I'm twisting towards one leg, sweeping across the floor to the other side. You can hook the belt, hook the elbow onto the thigh, hold as close as you feel comfortable, and reach the arm up and overhead. So that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna do it three times. So this is, there's a little bit of movement in this. So we can do it together. You'll start up sitting nice and tall. I'm bending over my right leg, reaching the left arm forward, sweeping across. And as I hook my left arm, I'm reaching the right arm over. Looking to the ceiling. If you can grab your foot with both hands, do it. And start to lean back. And then you can come forward, sweep across the floor, hook the uh, right arm to the thigh, reach up and overhead if you can, grab onto the foot, lean back so you feel that heavy weight in the hip that you're turning onto. And so that's our first time, second time. And the, finish the other side for a second time, lifting the chest. Notice if you're just slouching on your leg, Last time, third time, first side, and see if you can try and press the heels down, lift the spine and chest off the legs, and then pull yourself back up. Very nice. Bring the legs together. You can hook underneath the knee and kind of swing the legs in like I just did, or you can actually bend that knee up to the ceiling, hook the ankle, and take the leg out, whichever is most comfortable for you and your knee today and then sitting up nice and tall in Baddha Konasana. So that was Upavista Konasana with the legs wide, Parjva Upavista Konasana, and then Parivrita Upavista Konasana. So that's what we were practicing. Our legs together, Baddha Konasana. We're gonna go ahead and come up into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. So I'm gonna clear my mat off. The hands are gonna be slightly forward from the shoulders, knees slightly back from the hips. And I'm gonna curl my toes under. Now before I come up, I'm gonna turn my inner arms forward, outer arms back. Notice what's happening here in the spine. 
Imagine as if we were in that back bend position. So the shoulder blades actually move in towards the spine, chest lifts forward, a little bit more of a concave back here, and then lift the heels up. Go ahead and, or lift the hips up. Go ahead and bend your knees towards your chest for a moment. And as you press your hands down, lift through the sit bones, start to straighten the legs. And maybe, just maybe, we get the heels anchored down to the floor. Really prioritize straightening the legs, pressing the thighs back. As you press the palms down, try to lift into the hips. Notice if your hips are weighing heavy on your hands, or if you can actually get that lift of the sit bones up. It's a little bit easier to accomplish when the heels are lifted off the floor to keep that lift in the sit bones and lift in the hamstring and see if you can maintain it as you sink the heels towards the floor. Very nice. And then you can jump a couple jumps or jump all the way up towards your hands for Uttanasana. Uttanasana, intense stretch pose, taking a few breaths, lifting the chest forward. Weigh a little bit heavier into the toe ball mounts here as you lift the back of the thigh up. If you start to weigh heavy into the heels, you might notice that the heel or the hips start to shift backwards. Leaning forward, this is where you could also use your blocks or your toilet paper rolls, makeshift blocks. Very nice. And then we're going to stay in this position. I'm going to shift my toilet paper rolls to this side because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually step one foot back and turn forward here. So now as I turn forward, I'm in Prasarada Padottanasana. I'm gonna take my heels to the back edge of the mat so that I know that they're even. Now you have your toilet paper rolls here, so if you wanna use them underneath your hands, absolutely awesome possibility to use here, but try to keep your hands actually quite light. We're not just smashing into the toilet paper rolls and weighing heavy here. I'm actually trying to be quite light on my hands and use most of the work here in my legs. Now we are gonna come up into an inversion. Go ahead and make sure that you have some room around you. And we're gonna use the toilet paper rolls to support under the shoulders. Now if you haven't done this before, you can do this against the wall or you can just watch this time and we'll practice together at another point. So I have the toilet paper rolls here. I have my hands, you can't see them, but they're on the other side, just flat on the floor. With my index finger pointing forward, I'm gonna bring my head to the floor and shoulders here to these toilet paper rolls. Now you can adjust them, because ultimately you wanna feel supported by them. Elbows are bent. I'm gonna start to lift my legs up. Now, just to start, we can actually take the knees towards the elbows. If you feel comfortable, you can even Start to lift the hips or the legs all the way up here into Shirshasana. I feel like my toilet paper rolls are a little bit low for me to be leaning on, but that's okay. And then you can come back down, same way we came in. Prasarada Padottanasana. I feel like this one could be adjusted a little bit. So it is a little bit difficult to get the Shoulders centered on the toilet paper rolls. Make sure that they're, the weight is distributed evenly on there. And we'll do once more. You can bring the knees in, doing a little hop, or you can actually leverage them and then lift up. Coming into this little egg position. Knees up. And then legs straight. And coming back down. And then we'll walk the hands forward. You can use your blocks if you'd like. Prasarda Padottanasana. And then to come out, you can heel toe step the feet together if you'd like. To Uttanasana. Very nice. And then bend the knees. And we're going to do another back bend. Setu Bandha Sarvangasana. So we'll use a stack of two toilet paper rolls or just one if you've never done this before. I'll show and then we'll do it together. So Setu Bandha Sarvangasana has me starting laying down. I'm going to take my hands along the sides of the mat, turning the inner arms up, 
outer arms down and tucking the shoulders underneath and lifting the hips up. Now this is Chatush Padasana, four footed pose, but ultimately I really want to get to the tops of my shoulders here. Now, depending on where your hips are in space, it's really going to adjust what height of toilet paper rolls you use today. If you notice your hips are a little bit closer to the floor, just use one. But if you can get that lift of the hips up, you can go ahead and grab your toilet paper rolls. Make sure that they're stacked evenly. Place it right near your tailbone. So it's not in the low back. It's right near the tailbone. We're going to see if this will hold as I straighten my legs. Definitely has to be centered on the spine where you'll feel it sway from side to side. And I am keeping my arms active for this. Pressing my heels down, turning the inner thighs down, lifting the chest up. Now you can hold this as long as you'd like. I'm going to adjust my toilet paper rolls a little bit. They seem to be supporting one side more than the other. As you gently lengthen your inhale and exhale, Try to breathe into the collarbones. As you press the upper arms down, lift the back ribs up off the floor. Let the eyes and the face soften. Now bring the feet in. Lift the hips up. Move the toilet paper rolls. And take a few breaths here. And when I'm in preparing for Shavasana, I like to use a blanket or you can have a towel underneath the head. You could probably even use a toilet paper roll if that's all you have. And then we'll bring the feet together and take the knees wide. Now, if you feel that there's any strain or tension in the inner thighs, go ahead and put the toilet paper rolls underneath your thighs. Sitting up nice and, or lifting the spine and the chest for a few breaths. And start to let go. Let go of your weight into the floor. Acknowledge how the floor is supporting you. And you gently lengthen your inhale and exhale. Just focus on your body. Focus on your breath. together, straighten the legs, take a few moments just to breathe and rest here. You can stay as long as you would like. I'm going to turn to my side and come up. I really appreciate taking the time to watch this today. You'll go with paper towel or toilet paper rolls and some bath towels. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment or shoot me a message. Remember to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. I hope you have a great day.